Are you wondering how to make a video with pictures and music? In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create an amazing slideshow with music and pictures. And you won't even need any of your own media or software. Hi everybody, this is Roman Grant here from Empire Vid. This channel is dedicated to giving people that have no experience the resources to create their own content for business and personal use. Be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of video and you want to see more of them. Now let's get into the video. A video with pictures and music is a slideshow, but there are many different uses for them. You might just want to create a fun family photo album to brag to your friends and family with, or you may want to create a wedding album for the love of your life. Either way, you'll want a quick and easy way to make this happen. You probably don't want to spend the time necessary to learn a new program just to create a simple slideshow. Luckily, there's an alternative that is entirely online and super easy to use. It's called InVideo, and you can create anything from simple slideshows to lengthy YouTube videos. InVideo has many great benefits that will make the process fast and easy so you can create high value content in less time. It has a user-friendly interface that allows you to drag and drop your media without any technical editing skills. There's also a huge library of royalty-free images, videos, and music at your fingertips. So let's get started and create your very first slideshow. So here we are in InVideo. I suggest using the Chrome browser because that is the browser that InVideo is uh, made to work best on. So use Chrome. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create your own account. I'm not going to go through it because it's pretty self-explanatory, but you're basically just going to need your first and last name, um, any 10 digits for a phone number and an email address. That will give you access to a free plan, which you can use all of the different features of NVIDIA. So what I would recommend if you do decide to upgrade is that you go with the business plan. Okay, now for a slideshow, it, depending on where you want to um, upload your slideshow to and how you're going to use it will depend on the format that you're going to um, choose. Of course, you have your YouTube landscape, which is the wide. You've got your verticals for your for the different stories, either on Facebook or Instagram. And then you've got the square uh, formats for uh, the actual feed of your Facebook and Instagram um, accounts. So that's those are the choices that you have. For the demonstration today, we're gonna be using a YouTube landscape, um, but I'm gonna go over here and create a blank template. So this will give you a fresh template to use and you can just start editing um, from the ground up. So this is your editing platform. Uh, this is where you're going to be adding your pictures um, and your music to your slideshow. So just to give you um, a to make you familiar with it, this is your actual video. This is th these are the layers of the actual scene um, that you're working on. So you'll be working on um, each scene one at a time. This is your timeline where you will be um, edit where you can choose which scene you want to edit as well as um, have access to the music um, down here and you can see how long it is. So this is the basic timeline. They also have an advanced timeline, but we won't be going into that. And you also have other features um, which we're not going to use today like you could add a voiceover if you wanted to. So that's for the timeline over here on the left is where you are accessing all of your media and text, all, any kind of uploads that you upload yourself if you were uploading your own pictures. This is exactly where you would access those from. And the theme for today's slideshow, we're going to create a family vacation slideshow. So to start off with, I'm going to add a couple of scenes. Um, that way I don't have to do that later. I'm just gonna get it all out get it out of the way right now. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete everything in here. Okay, so to start off with, what I wanna do is I want to make this scene completely blank so that I can duplicate this scene and I, that way I don't have to go back and do it later. And it, it just saves you time in the uh, long run. So what you do is you delete, um, this is just some sample text that they give you. Go ahead and uh, select it and then press delete. 
And then this is the logo that would input. This is actually my logo, but if you don't have a logo that you set up in the beginning, then you, they would just put a graphic here that says logo. So go ahead and delete that. Then I'm gonna go ahead down here and cl click on this button. And I'm going to duplicate this scene. And I'm gonna do it a couple of times. That way I don't have to do it in the future. Okay, so that's good enough for right now. So what I want to do is go back to the first scene and I'm going to insert a, um, a picture. So what I'm gonna do is, since our theme is family vacations, I'm going to type in family, see what it pulls up. So I'm gonna search for a scene. So you just basically drag it in to the actual scene and now you're gonna to wanna to resize it So there you go. So that's your scene. So now you're going to add, we want to add some text. So that you click over here on the menu under text and you can add your own um, heading. You can choose something uh, that you uh, like. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one. All you have to do is add this. It's going to, it's going to automatically insert that into your scene. It's kind of hard to see. So you're going to want to change the color. To change the color, you come over here to the layers section and you click on colors. And I'm going to go ahead and make this. Let's see, is black good? I'm going to go ahead and make this. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it like dark gray. But then what I'm going to create is I'm going to you, turn up the opacity on this so that it's okay. And then I'm going to take this back to white. Okay. Now, I can either edit the text over here or I can edit it from the actual scene, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. There we go. Now you can resize it like this. So now to preview this scene, this text, because you've used a text style um, that is already pre-made, it already has its own effect on it. So you could change the effect up if you wanted to, or you could go ahead and just use the, the effect that they've already given you, which is what I'm going to do. That scene is done. Now to go to the next scene, you just click on it and we're going to find another picture. So you would click over here on the media. Looks like something good right here. Again, you just drag it and drop it right into the scene. Now, of course, this is these are different families, so it looks a little bit different than uh, what you would want. Uh, obviously, you would upload your own pictures. So now I'm going to go ahead and drop some more text, and you can kind of you can click on that and see. As you can see, there's a lot of different options that they have. Okay, so I just realized that my pictures aren't really matching up, which is okay because NVIDIA makes it very easy for you to adjust on the fly. And what I mean, I'll show you what I mean. I have this scene here that I would rather actually be first and this scene um, where that I would rather be after it. So all you have to do is click on the scene and drag it over and it puts it where you want it to go. So you see how easy it is to make changes. If you make a mistake, you can easily fix it and make it great. So that's one of the great things that I like about this online editor. So I also wanted to show you another option when you in insert your photos. You can also uh, over here under the image resizing options, you can um, you have a couple of different choices. You can this is the crop to screen where it uh, basically fills out to the edges, but another cool effect is the fit with blur. And basically what it does is it puts the image behind it, blurs it out, and then makes the um, image smaller. Um, so it's in the middle. So it's pretty cool. You can kind of experiment with it, decide what you like. It's just a matter of preference. When you have a scene, you can choose to preview the scene right here, um, this play button, then, or you can use this play button, which previews all of your scenes. And then that will also put the music in the background as well if you chose to do that. So usually I wait till I have a bunch of scenes already um, 
ready to go and then I will play it um, all the way through. But other than that, if you just wanna see what your scene looks like, you can play them each individually. Okay, so now that I have um, these two scenes completed, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the slides um, very quickly. That way we can get to the end and I can show you the finished product. Okay, so another cool feature that um, NVIDIA has is when you insert an image, you can put a filter on it. So this has no filter. You can switch it up. They have the 1977. They've got this one. They've got a ton of features that are very cool, very um, unique looking. So you can kind of play around with it and see which one fits best, but it's gonna look great um, when you're adding your own photos and you can use these filters because it's just gonna give it a much more unique and um, eye-catching eye look. So then when you're working with each scene, and so like I told you before, this is the layers section. So on each individual scene that you have here, this is your scene. If you click on layers, it's going to give you um, all of the different layers. Now it goes from bottom to top. So the layer at the bottom is going to be uh, the one that is farthest back. The layer at the top is going to be the one that's closest to you. So when, say when you add a text, and I'm gonna go and add that in there. So now I have this text here. I go to layers, you can see that the text is at the very top. So that means that it's at the very front. If you wanted to put it behind something else, you could go ahead and drag it down. So you see how it disappeared. It's because the media, the picture is the top layer. So obviously for this scene, we don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. But that is um, how you work with layers on here. Um, there's a bunch of different other options uh, you can, um, each individual layer, you can go ahead and edit it individually with the animation, which this text is already animated, but you can uh, adjust the animation for your picture. You can adjust the animation for um, your text or for any other things that you put in here. Okay, so I had had a little malfunction with my screen recorder and I didn't record uh, the last three scenes or the last four scenes. No big deal, we got to the end. I want to put my own music to it. So over here under the features, you would click on music and as you can see, they have an extensive music collection. So in order to replace the track that they already have on here, I'm going to select it, click edit, and I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to add click this little plus sign. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to click on the play all scenes button and we're gonna go ahead and watch the video. Once you are finished and you're happy with the final product, you can go over here and you click on export. It's going to load up, takes a short time, and then it'll start to render your slideshow. So now that it has fully rendered, you can click this button and download it directly to your computer. And the great thing about NVIDIA is that since it's an online video editor, it will store all of your um, all of your projects, so if you click here on projects, 
these are going to be all of your projects that it that you have done and um, completed and these you can access from any computer that has an internet connection so if you don't have um, if you don't have your computer with you and you want to show somebody your video or you want to download your video to um, to present it to somebody then you can go to this website and um, download it directly to that computer so that's how you make a video with pictures and music well that's the end of the video Thanks for watching. If you want to see more tutorials for beginners about content creation, please subscribe to my channel. I've also put a link in the description for InVideo with a 50% off discount off the paid plans. Also, leave me a comment down below telling me what kind of slideshow you want to make first. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.